Hi everybody, I'm Vix and I just got a very special parcel today from none other than Nintendo and I'm going to open it up quickly. I'm pretty sure that I know what this is. He's gonna, I'm very sorry about ooh, the shaky cam quality. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm doing this in a way that I can actually sort of stab myself. Oh, this is not the easiest thing to do when you're holding a mobile phone. I need a better camera to do this. Oh. It's okay, I can use my feet. Yes, genius. <clears throat> right, you got part of it open. Oh, we just need this corner. This side here, so if I push that so against the wall, hold that there with my foot. These are clean socks, so. There we go. Da, 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 da. Oh, damn, this is the most frustrating. Okay, once this is done, that's it. Right. So exciting. Okay. Oh, there we have it. Oh my God, is that all that's in there? No, like no letter or anything. Okay. So these are the Nintendo Labo Joy Cons that um, finalists get to win for the Nintendo Labo Creators Contest and um, and the trophy as well. <sighs> oh god, it's heavy. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's get rid of that box there. Pop that one there. Okay, so it's like... I did get my box that I have when I got my green and pink neon Joy-Cons. So yeah, it's exactly the same size. You put it on the side like this. Everything on the back of this one is a little Japanese there. There is English there as well. Not for sale. Mm -hmm. So we got the um, yeah NintendoEurope.com, Nintendo Australia, manufactured in Japan. Mm, yeah, because they did do this contest in um, Australia as well, but also in America. There's no American information on there. Mm. So this is just specifically done for the European one, I guess, and. So yeah, exactly the same size as one of these boxes here, so let's get rid of that one there. And I guess we better open it. There's no seals on it. Actually, I don't even think that there's any seals on my jo on this one. I got this. Which always made me feel like... I can remember going to, into Toys R Us and um, finding the arms ones, the, the yellow ones, and being able to actually open the box. No security on there. And they were in... And they were in there, the Joy-Cons, and it's like, oh, I could just nick these. <laughs> I didn't do that. I'm I'm a I'm a good girl. Yeah, wrapped in bubble wrap. There's no wrist straps there either. Which is okay because I have spares. Okay. Okay, so, oh yeah, people have been saying that they have a complete different feel over the others. It just it has a very matte feel. Oh, ooh, look at that. It has that rigid cardboard look there, and that's... 
a slight matte feel to it as well. Oh, it's Sorry about the focus, guys. And let's light this one out. Of course, we know that this is going to be the same. serial number barcode on it as well. I think I heard that there was only 30 sets of these made. So this is quite a rare thing. It's, it really does have a, a strange feel to it. Mm. And even the texture it looks almost hand painted. I mean, I know that this, you're not going to see it that well. Especially on this camera here. This is not the best one, I'm afraid. I'm so sorry. I don't have anything better. Yeah, that's sort of smooth. It's matte, but smooth. But this has a very slight rough feel to it. Anyway, we'll leave those there. And we will go to this. It is huge. The box is absolutely massive. Love you, Trophy. Again, not for sale. Oh, it's sealed at the top. Awesome. And sealed at the bottom too. So nobody's touched this. No tampering. Except for like, I guess, the person who put it in the box. Oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna stab myself with these scissors. Yay! It's always a victory when I can do this with one hand. Okay. I'm going to have to just do it the best way that I can think. Oh, I should have opened it from the bottom. I should have opened it from the bottom and slid it straight out. Oh, I'm so sorry because I guess some of you guys are going to be watching this and feeling sick. Because <laughs> of how much I've been shaking it. Oh, okay, so it's in a... Great big massive styrofoam block. <coughs> oh, a Nintendo Styro. That, that's going to be the next thing, I reckon. All that styrofoam that's been used in the world, it's damaging the environment. Nintendo will find a way to reuse it for video games. Ooh. Oh. Nicely wrapped up. It is so heavy. It feels like it's made out of like um, MDF wood. That's what it feels like to me. It doesn't feel like cardboard because of the weight. Ooh, oh, I can hide things in there. Oh, shh. This is so heavy. It looks like cardboard, most definitely is not. So it's very smooth. It doesn't have the same texture as these. Whereas that's the um, the tape that they sell, which I actually have some. It's not taped on there, it's printed. So, oh, 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 little things like that, just like, oh, what's that? A little bit of styrofoam. I think on the bottom, I thought that there would be. But yeah, so you got a little Nintendo Switch logo there. This there is plastic. And, uh, yeah, it's just this strange little thing. <laughs> I'm going to guess that there's not going to be many of these. Because these were done just for Europe. Ooh, there we go. How? Unusual. Wow. Very sorry about my shaky cam quality. I can't stop apologising for that because I know it's absolutely terrible. I'm looking through everything through this here. But of course, this is something that's quite unique. Um, how I can't I can't think how many. There'll be three of these in the UK. 
um, and three in other European countries. I think France, Germany, Italy, Spain. I'm, I'm not sure which other ones because it kind of didn't make, make sense when, like, you know, they didn't actually have a list of all the European countries. It looked like a lot were all together, like um, the Czech Republic and Poland and things. It looked like they were just one thing all together. So I'm not sure how many of these were released in the whole of Europe. But yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with that. I'm quite happy. I, I, I wonder... So basically, I can use this as like for my other. Oh yeah, it fits in there really well. It doesn't stick up or anything. So I can fit like I've, I've only got like you know the neon red and blue, and then these Joy Cons plus those ones now. So I don't have like loads of Joy Cons, but that's gonna be great for holding all my Joy Cons and uh, all the um, straps as well. They can go in there as well. I just have them scattered everywhere at the moment, so yay! <laughs> Thank you very much, Nintendo. It's very much appreciated. I really do love it. And the little, little um, Joy Cons as well. How easy do these come off? Oh, they slide off all right. They slide off okay. Oh, I'm gonna box them back up, I think, because I just know that I'm gonna end up breaking them. I will use them though. Oh, I yeah, I should use them on the switch to see if they change color. Oh, have they got any power in them? I don't think there's any power in them. There's no power in them, so I'll have to charge them up for a while before I can see what color they come up on the switch. Hee, we're so excited. Thank you very much, Nintendo, and thank you guys for watching as well. Oh. I'm so sorry for rambling in this video, um, but it's just so, so cool. So, so happy with it. Oh, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Excitement over.